John. Uh, and then Mr. Nichols, Mr. Harvey, Miss Westmoreland, good morning. All right. And then Mr. Ryan and Misty Williams, good morning. And then, uh, see, Mr. Smith, Miss uh, Hilton, Mr. Atkins, and Mr. Brown, good morning. Good morning. All right. So I need to roll our jurors present? Yes, sir. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Um, before we go ahead and bring on our jurors, I will acknowledge Mr. Harvey, uh, your email to us in regards to your continuing objection to um, uh, Investigator Belknap, and there's Archley and Bennett, AC Booker Higgins, Officer Ashley Davis, Leonard Pass, Adrian Bean, and Courtney Bean. Can you speak up, sir? Yes. Use the microphone. Sorry. That's okay. Um, not inv investigator Belknap. He's already on the scene. We've already gone through it with him. So that procedure is already um, already done. But as far as the witnesses that are coming up that we were noticed by the district attorney's office, I have those specific objections to those witnesses that are coming up. And I guess we can take them up whenever the witnesses appear. I just didn't want to waive that issue. All right. Well, let's get through um, Investigator Belknap, and then we can take them up as necessary. But you'll need to remind me again, OK? And I'll mark your emails the next court exhibit in order. Thank you. All right. Um, in regards to juror 204, uh, Ms. Weaver was able to pull uh, the transcript reference in terms of our examination of her. Um, the issue of her potential move was only brought forward when we told her that, hey, you have to come back and participate in jury selection. There were no other conversations prior to that, and, and uh, I did note that if it came up that she should bring that to her attention. So she did mention that. Mr. Steele, you did not object as to it. Uh, so the record will stand what it stands as it stands in that respect. Um, but I still need to answer the question. So have you all pondered the issue? I don't think it will become ripe until she actually, the date she's supposed to take a lease. But I want to go ahead and at least take care of it. Yes. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, everyone. Um, Your Honor, of course, I bow to the record. I live and die with the record. I understand that. Um, I have in my notes about the juror telling us that she was moving, and I have in my notes that I made a four-cause motion. That was, that was on a basis late earlier. She told us about the move after we, during the second part, when we started calling people back saying, or when we told her at the end, like, hey, we're going to go ahead and, um, we're going to go ahead and um, call you back for jury selection. Um, and our, from taking a look at the transcript, Mr. Jimenez did all the, most of the, Jimenez, I should say, most of the objections in regards to, you adopted whatever it is he said. Okay. Well, that's what the record says. I'm, I'm with the record. I just, I, okay, but I'm just, in going terms going. of, in terms of, I got to deal with the issue at this point in time. So our position, and I've spoken to um, everyone representing um, an accused here, is um, we, we are not waiving the issue. We are not waiving the appellate issue, like I said yesterday. And um, I'm looking for cases, and I can't seem to find them. I don't, I don't see any either. And then a juror, what I'm trying to do is a juror is qualified, gets sworn during trial, becomes a convicted felon. That becomes notice to the court. What happens? Everything I'm finding is the lawyer didn't do what we're doing, and it's waived. 
because that's not waived in this particular circumstance. There's, there's independent evidence on the record as well as we, as well as she's already told us. So, so our position is we, we don't want to waive anything. I know you, it's not waived. I, I, well, I don't believe it's waived. We're not waiving. And, um, and we are moving to excuse the juror for cause. But you asked for a specific case law, and I cannot give you a case. Every one of the cases, I can give you a case I found, but every one of, or we found, but every one of the cases, they never get to the issue because they say it was raised after verdict, after guilt. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but my, the court's concern is, is she still qualified? Because she's not a resident of Fulton County, which would be a disqualifier under Title 15, um, I believe, uh, or the before trial or before we actually impanel our jury. Right, and then the way I always, I mean, as the court knows before, like appellate arguments, it's always like these hypotheticals which are very simple but very far out. What if all our jurors moved to the state of Kentucky, but they all said, no problem, we'll, we'll just keep coming every day. Is that a juror, is that a jury of the peers under the Constitution and statute? And my position is, our position is that under statute, um, we are asking for that juror, I think it's 204, to be removed based upon the evidence in the record that she will no longer be a Fulton County resident, which if we go by the statute, that is a disqualifier. It would have disqualified her, yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree with your, with your analysis at this point. I believe that, I mean, I'm just in the abundance of caution, I probably want to ask her, is it your intent to move? Um, actually on this date and are you making plans to get a driver's license, change your boat, the things that would ordinarily do that. Because as we know, you can have multiple yes. commissaries, um, but whether or not you're a resident, she may still consider herself a resident of Fulton, but if she's going to move to the county that she's in, which I believe is, I'll take a look at the lease again. but. Um, we, uh, that would be that would be the what I would probably do, and just to, for some more data points for the record. All right, well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, the state's position is that right now she's still a qualified juror, and I believe until when? I believe you said the lease starts on February twenty seventh. Or the 27th, yes, ma'am. So, I'm gonna check in just a second. So. So we would just ask that. It will become riper probably towards the end of next week. And so we can have some moments to see if we find any additional case law, but by next Friday, we should have whatever research that we'll have, and it'll be riper at that time since her lease does not begin until the 27th, Carolina. But at this juncture, she still is a qualified juror for us to move forward proceedings oh, yeah, until um, next Friday, Carolina. Ms. Weaver, can I see the lease, please? Thank you.
actually starts on the 26th of February. So that's a Monday. So let me do this. Let's go ahead and get some data points from her about this move. We put that on the record, and then that will be. Um, I'll leave it open. I'll leave it open just a little bit longer to see if we can find the case law on the issue. But um, I've taken a look as well, and I. My cons like I said, my, the court's concern is whether she's still a qualified juror, and the fact that she's not even that she will not be qualified when a verdict would be rendered. So that's. That's the issue. Um, all right, bring out 204 if you wouldn't mind, Sergeant Ingram, please. Bless you. <laughs> 204, come on up and just have a seat. You have a seat in the front row. Uh, but no, you go the front row of the jury, the jury box, and then pull the microphone down. Counsel, um, please be seated. Does it work? Uh, you pull it down so you can talk with us. All right. Is the, is the um, is the handheld mic working? Okay. You want to give us a mic check? <laughs> okay, all right. All right, never mind. It's not working. Did you can? Okay. Nobody else is hearing it. Okay, all right. Because it's all about you. I understand that, Miss Weaver. Yeah, um, Drew 204, come on up the witness stand so everybody can hear you, okay? Yeah, they're not going to film our jury, please. Thank you. All right. Um, okay, Juror 204, uh, good morning, madam. Good morning. All right, so that eventuality that you uh, prepared us for is actually coming to pass. Um, we have uh, a copy of your lease. I am going to seal it for purpose of record so nobody will know where, where, it is, where it is exactly you're moving to, but it, it's from, and I've discussed this with counsel, you are... The 26th of February is when your lease takes effect? Yes, sir. Okay, and what county is the address that you've given us um, where you're moving to? Oh, Cherokee. Okay, is it your intent to become a resident of Cherokee County uh, on or about the 26th of of uh, February? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, have you have you taken any steps to get a to, to change your driver's license, register to vote? Um, what are your plans in, in that respect? Well, once we moved on there, I was going to change my address for uh, work and so I can get a new ID and then change my uh, voter stuff so I know what precinct to go to. Okay, all right. So it's your intent to no longer be a Fulton County resident at that point. Is that is that yes, sir. Is that is that fair to say? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And I believe that you told us you were moving uh, from, uh, if memory serves me correctly, from my notes that because your grandma's lease was up at that point. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Anything else you want to tell us about the lease or, or no, tell us about your your desire to move or anything I haven't asked you? It's just expensive over here. It's expensive in Florida? It's expensive with anywhere these days, but um, okay. All right, well, I, um, we're still mulling over, you know, what we're, what's going to happen, and um, I can assure you before next Friday I'll give you a decision, okay? Yes, sir. But I want you to know that we are, we have considered it and everybody's pondering at this point in time so okay yes, all right okay anything no. okay all right madam just go ahead and step back in the headquarters we'll call you all out in just a minute okay yes sir. all right all rise for our juror all right please be seated all right anything else i need to take up before we call for our jurors and is Detective, uh, I should say, Detective Investigator Bellmap, is he outside? He is, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, we just had one brief... Can we go ahead and get him started? All right. What's the, what's the one tell me? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, we just, the state would like to bring to the court's attention. Um, we've noticed last week in questioning of Investigator Bellmap that uh, Mr. Steele has consistently ask questions which are assuming facts not in evidence and it happened multiple times we object 
we would object and then it would continue to happen. And so, Your Honor, the state has some concerns that if this line of questioning continues, we will be forced to continue interrupting Mr. Steele before he finishes his questions if that line of testifying and assuming facts not in evidence. And so we want to bring this to the court's attention so that we can be able to handle this and move forward um, in an expeditious manner. But it's been improper. It continues to happen. And we have several examples of it. And so we are just trying to bring this to the court's attention so we can move forward and not interrupt Mr. Steele. But if this line of questioning continues, we will interrupt prior to the questioning being completed so that these questions will not keep on being propounded in front of the jury, Your Honor. OK. All right. I'll let Mr. Steele respond. but. Um... But certainly it's your right to object, and certainly, um, but Mr. Steele, anything? No, sir. Okay, all right. We'll just take it up as an as-needed basis. All right, can we summon uh, Dete uh, Detective Belknap, please? attributed to um, Shakespeare originally, the best laid plans of mice and men. So, but I think that another uh, author uh, actually uh, stole it from him and put it in their work. But anyways, um, we had planned on coming back on, on, uh, on, on Tuesday. Oh, no, I should say on Monday uh, after the after the holiday, after the after your long weekend. Um, as would happen, uh, one of our members uh, tested positive for COVID, so we had to could be down a few days because of that. So that's the reason why you got the extended break, and then we still had to take up the issues that we couldn't take up. So um, that's that's why the delay, and just wanted you to know and all um, all that. Um, candor. To that end, remember all the things I told you about staying healthy. Um, to that end, I have caused this particular courtroom, your jury headquarters, and uh, the like to be the surrounding areas to be um, sanitized specifically for that for that particular reason. And I will continue to do so. But the other things that go along with you know health at this point in time are still important, so I would caution you, advise you, and just make sure that you are using the best practices you can to stay as healthy as you can. And for some of you that are wearing masks, you're, that's totally acceptable, and uh, you're welcome to do so at any time you, 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 you see fit, okay? All right, 
So that's all I have for you, and we're going to continue at this point in time with an examination of uh, investigator belt now. So, so we're still on the roof, okay? Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Steele, come on. Display with Mr. Kokomo, um, Mr. Williams, number 70 is already in evidence. The kind of one there, I'm sorry? That was your yeah. 170. Oh, 70. 70. Okay. Um, it has already been admitted, yes, it may be shown. Detective, um, I'm showing you uh, Mr. Williams' number 70, and I'm asking Mr. Kokomo if he can to focus in on the album cover or the mixtape cover. You see that? I do. And you remember talking about that last week before, right when we were leaving uh, court before the jury. I do. And um, in that, you recognize that there's an eagle. It's fair to say, skull of an eagle. Sure. And there's an a, a image of a snake going through the eye socket of an eagle. Is that fair to say? Yes. And when you looked at that, without any question posed, um, you made it known to me, and I asked you to make it known to the jurors, that that was um, gang paraphernalia or gang message. Remember all that? Uh, I don't believe that was consistent with my testimony. You didn't tell this jury last week that there's another item on Mr. Williams 70 that is gang related? Um, that is not consistent with what my testimony was. Well, is what is when you told me that hey on number seventy I'd like to talk about that image. Why did you do that? So my testimony was that this was of note to I and other investigators at the time that this album was released, and the reason for that was not because we were trying to use it to get Mr. Williams. We were concerned that this imagery would be recognized by rivals as something insulting to them. And they spoke the violence in the gang war, but at that point, we had been investigating for almost three years. So at that time, it was a note to us, um, along with similar imagery that we saw both from other members of YSL and rivals on the other side, making similar imagery in reverse. The jurors will recall what you said, but... Do you deny telling the jurors that you believed that that was done for a gang message? Again, my testimony was specifically that this was of note to us as investigators um, for the potential message that it was going to send to rivals and the potential to reignite a gang war that had been going on for quite some time at this point. Now, you realized at the time of telling the jurors on that album cover or mixtape cover, you realize that future, his symbol is an eagle, right? I'm familiar with the Free Bands logo, yes. And it's an eagle, right? It is. And are you familiar with Jeffrey Williams and Future doing other mixed tape releases? Objection, I'm assuming that it's not. Assuming objection. I'm asking, I'm not assuming anything. Are you familiar with Mr. Williams and Future doing other mixed tape albums, is the question, sir? That's, I'm not assuming anything in evidence. I am familiar with them doing other work together, yes. I couldn't mean. Okay, you said yes. Okay, and are you familiar um, with the artwork on other mixed tapes of Mr. Williams and Future? I'm not. Did you ever bother to look at whether on other mixtapes, there 
there's a snake and an eagle on the covers. You know, we were investigating album covers as crimes. Um, again, we were concerned about the imagery on this album cover when we saw it because of its potential to be perceived a certain way by their enemies and its potential in our minds um, of, of uh, leading to violence that we would then have to investigate. So, do you have any evidence to tell this jury that Jeffrey Williams had any, any authority or input into that album cover that signs Mr. Williams number seven? Well, again, we did not investigate an album cover. So, what is the answer? To that my, my question is different. Do you have any evidence today, any day, that Mr. Williams had any involvement, authority, input into the album cover that's shown on the screen, Mr. Williams number 70. No, and as I've said, we were not investigating the album cover or Mr. Williams' relationship with the album cover. We were investigating its possibility um, to inspire violence from rivals who may have seen in it what we were concerned may have been in it. So you look at Mr. Williams number 70, what's on the screen, And what you get out of it is that can somehow stoke a, a gang violence. That's what I hear you say. Is that true? That is not consistent with my testimony that it was of note to us as investigators um, who I think would not be doing our duty if we didn't see that and prepare ourselves to interdict or mitigate potential gang violence um, in response to, to this image. Especially given context outside of this of what we saw um, after this from rival gang members and even other members of YSL using this same imagery in their own posts. So you take, without any evidence, you take this artwork and somehow you put Mr. Williams involved with this artwork, stoking whatever your word was, Gang violence. Object on this characterization of the testimony. I stand corrected. Without any information that Mr. Williams is at all involved with even thinking about, thinking about some gang or YSL as a gang, that's what you focused on when you saw the album cover. Objection. Counsel speculating, testifying, and this characterization of the evidence. I stand objection. Is that? When you look at this without any input, any evidence, anything, anything objective that Mr. Williams objection, had... Counsel is testifying. Standing objection. Mr. With, Steele, don't testify, please. Without any information that Mr. Williams had any input in Mr. Williams' number seven, the album cover, objection, the mixtape cover. Mischaracterization and speculation. It is speculation, Mr. Steele. I stand objection. Your view <laughs> of this case comes from your vision, right? That's fair to say? I'm not even sure what that means. You understand this case the way your brain tells you to, right? It's like everybody. I mean, in the sense that um, every thought that I have comes through my brain, sure, but uh, I was not the only person that investigated this case. Um, and a lot of the information from the case didn't only come from me or from my coworkers, but also from interviews with rival gang members, um, third parties not involved directly in the conflict, uh, members of the gang itself. Uh, we have quite a bit of information from victims and witnesses and all the manner of people that were involved in all aspects of this investigation. But gang members, and victims and witnesses part of this investigation. Do any of them have any clue as to who birthed the artwork in Mr. Williams number 70 on Super Slimy Mixtape? Um, no, I didn't ask that question, but unfortunately it doesn't really matter who birthed it. Um, this image and its potential to lead to retaliatory violence was something we would have to deal with and mitigate, and so it was of note to us as investigators. But don't you understand from what you're saying you are taking an object that has nothing to do with any YSL gang. Objection, Your Honor. That's mischaracterization. A sample is testifying. Do you find it problematic in your role as an investigator, a gang investigator, that you're taking a piece of Mr. Williams number 70, that image, and you are portraying it as 
somehow involving a gang. Does that bother you? Objection, Your Honor. It's not relevant if it bothers me. Yes, same. The question is to form. All right. Let me ask you this. or the prosecution why or how the artwork was came out. Is that what you're saying? Objection, Your Honor. This is characterization. That's an incident. I'm saying it, Josh. Let me ask you this. With regards to this album cover, except how you took it and how you perceived other gang members took it, you did no investigation into how that was created. Is that true? We had no reason to investigate how it was created, and so we did not. Now, you stated that you have focused on Jeffrey for approximately 12 years. Is that fair to say you were co-workers? That is not at all what I've said. I thought you said you back to 2012. I may be wrong on the year, something like that. Well, I've never said anything about our investigation focusing on Mr. Williams or for any period of time. You don't know, though, when he left Cleveland Avenue area, correct? I don't know what you mean by when he left the Cleveland Avenue area. When he moved from that area. I don't know when he moved from Cleveland Avenue. You don't know when he moved outside of Atlanta, if at all, right? I know that he did for a time live outside of Atlanta. I did not track his moves or record dates of his moves. You never spoke with any type of expertise in African-American culture, right? That's an answer, sir. You never bothered to look into the culture of hip-hop or rap or how a musician advertised themselves. You never looked at how a up-and-coming person or even a recognized artist keeps interest in fan base, right? No, sir. To the extent that that has nothing to do with a criminal investigation, no, absolutely not. Including social media posts to show the brand, in this case, Young Thug. You never did any type of investigation to see what fans wanted to see of the brand Young Thug, did you? It was not of interest to us what his fans wanted to see, although I am familiar at this point in my career investigating gangs that gang members often do brand themselves around their gangs and participate in these types of promotions. And do innocent people also promote themselves as gang members to promote their... Improper... I sustain the question. All right. Lyrics to songs. You have no idea whether a lyric to a song was, in this case, Mr. Williams' songs. You have no idea how those lyrics came about, do you? Who wrote them, who suggested them, who modified them, if anyone? No, we had no part in the creative process. Isn't it the duty of you and your co-workers and the prosecution, though, to find out the background of information that you're showing to the jury and you're telling about? Objection. You testified last week that you knew that some of the tweets that you testified to on direct examination with the prosecution, you knew them to be lyrics from songs. Remember that? No, I believe I testified that I believed some of them to be lyrics from songs or that I didn't dispute your assertion that they were lyrics from songs. Okay. And 
you said that the reason you did not mention that on direct examination is because you were not asked. Do you remember that? Um, I don't recall that, but no, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have uh, made statements that I wasn't asked. Why wouldn't you correct and say this tweet may be or is from a song? <laughs> Even if not asked by the prosecution, why wouldn't you tell the jurors? Well, I can't answer things that aren't asked by the prosecution under direct examination. On Mr. Williams number 70, I did not ask you about that image. You brought that up and said there's something else I want to say. Well, to, that? to your point, you, you brought this image up. I did not. The state did not. You brought this image up, and you asked for context around these images and around these tweets. Um, what I wanted to share with the jury was that it was of note to us when we saw this, given context outside of just what was happening on Twitter or on an album cover um, at that time. I didn't believe that I said Mr. Williams' name, uh, and that was the extent of my testimony to this, given that context around this. When I was under direct examination, I wasn't asked to give context for any of the tweets that I read into the record. And to the extent that I would have been asked, it is not uncommon or unusual for someone to quote a lyric, a movie line, a poem, or anything else to express a sentiment. And using a song lyric for that doesn't change that that's how people use lyrics regardless. You testified about the hybrid gang YSL, remember that? I do. And you talked about in your initial appearance before this jury in November 2023, the color red. Do you remember that with YSL? I did. And then when I came and, and noted all these different colors that Mr. Williams wears, including the color blue, you said, well, he can do that. Remember that? I don't think that's exactly the way that went, but uh, yes, I did certainly clarify the way that games represent their colors. You talked about that someone with YSL who's alleged blood affiliate, if it's a hybrid gang, would not like to use or would change the letter C. Remember that type of testimony? As, I mean, as rough as that translation of it is, yes. Okay. And yet, when I asked you about Jeffrey Williams, album covers, songs and albums, statements that he used a letter C, you said, well, he can do that. Remember that? I don't remember us discussing that. Well, that's true, right? I'm sorry, I wasn't finished with my answer. Uh, I don't remember discussing that, but like any other identifier you see with a the gang, um, there's not going to be 100% usage or non-usage of any given identifier. You said that generally this hybrid gang YSL allegedly, if it is a gang. Objection, Your Honor. That's the same question. Allegedly, if this hybrid supposed YSL gang okay. you test using the word supposed question. You testified that they're blood affiliated and therefore their rival, I guess is your word, is Crips. Remember something like that? Again, that's a, probably a very rough translation of the testimony. I don't recall specifically what the questions and answers were. But something like that you explained to the jury. Remember that? I, again, I, yeah, I'm not going to say whether I testified to anything without knowing the context and what my actual answer was. But that's true, right? It is true generally that Bloods and Crips have a rivalry. However, uh, across the country here, um, even in LA where these games originated, there are rivalries between Crip gangs. There are rivalries between Blood gangs. Uh, sometimes there are alliances across the aisle uh, as well. So it's um, a generality. I would uh, believe that's what my testimony was. And of course, that would be the, uh, the full picture. But you explained to the jurors that Sergio Kitchens, according to you, is identified with a Crip gang. Remember that? I do. And Martinez Arnold uh, goes by um, Duke. He is identified, according to you, as affiliating with a Crip gang. Remember that? Yes. But yet Jeffrey Williams, you explained, does musically, maybe, maybe personally, 
um, have friendships with Mr. Kitchens and Mr. Arnold. True? Yes. So again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't apply to Jeffrey. Right? What doesn't apply to him? These rules that you're giving out, that's why it's a hybrid, right? That's what you explain to the jury. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that the rules don't apply to him. Um, what I found in my experience and what the research has found across several decades is that games have rules, um, and as ardent as they may appear to be about their rules, some rules are loosely enforced. That's not just here, that's in Chicago, um, from research out of Chicago, research out of Los Angeles as well. Uh, additionally, Atlanta is unique in that we did not have these traditional games here for many decades after much of the country uh, actually had an influx of traditional style gangs. So many people have friendships or relationships that predated their association with a traditional gang. So in Atlanta specifically, this is not unusual for us to see um, someone affiliated with a blood set, um, still associating with or having friendship or working with musically, someone who's associated with a crib set. What is the date that Jeffrey Williams became friends or associates with Mr. Sergio Kitchen's performer known as Gunner. I don't know when their relationship began. Now, this hybrid supposed YSL gang. Objection around with the supposed No rules to enter, you told the jury, right? I don't believe that I said that. Um, again, I don't recall what my specific uh, question or answer was for that. No rules to exit. The supposed gang, right? Objection, I was opposed. I see. Sure. I think it was an objection to your question. No rules to exit, right? I don't believe I testified that. Is that true? I, I don't believe that I testified whether that was true or not. I'm asking you. Uh, not that I'm aware of. I don't. Again, I don't believe I testified that they had a codified set of rules um, such as a traditional gang would have. So it's fluid based upon how you, like that album cover, mixtape cover, view the evidence. Is that right? Is what fluid? This supposed gang. Objection to supposed. Mr. Williams. Same objection. Mr. Williams. Supposed gang affiliation. Objection to supposed. <clears throat> Fluid, everything you're testifying to about Mr. Williams, whatever the facts that you get, that will fit a hybrid gang. Is that what you're telling the jury? Mm -hmm. That is not all what I'm telling you. Um, again, this has been my experience, my observations, and much social science research supports the fact that the majority of street gangs are not traditional gangs. In fact, um, recent research over the past few years has shown that one of the defining characteristics of a modern street gang is its ability to transition and to uh, to change itself, oftentimes towards a more structured approach. But the majority of street gangs are not highly structured traditional gangs. Uh, fluid is maybe not the right word, they're not that loose, um, but they are able to essentially write their own rules. What's important to note about that is that while gang structures are widely varied, gang processes are very similar across this entire spectrum of gangs. And so we see uh, similar behaviors promoted and reinforced amongst the gangs, um, even as their structure and the, uh, the layout of that gang may actually change. If somebody like Jeffrey Williams has an image of Young Thug, brand of Young Thug, that brand portrays a gangster rap um, persona. Do you realize that? Objection. I was testifying. Do you know, you know personally, from your investigation, whether Young Thug Brand performs gangster rap? Um, I've not investigated any uh, brand. Uh, as part of this investigation. Do you know what gangster rap is? I do. Do you know that it comes with music? Objection comes to testify. I say I'm asking a question. Do you know if it comes with music? Do I know if what comes with music? Gangster rap is produces music. I'm asking you that question. If gangster rap produces music? Yeah. Is it a music is it involved in music? Gangster rap, that term. Uh, it is a musical musical genre, yes. And does it also, if you know, promote music videos? 
I, I'm trying to, I mean, I feel like I'm making up your question for you. I, I, Young Thug brand have music videos. Objection, Your Honor, to Young Thug brand. That's testifying. That's the same musician. It's that's, 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 that's the performer Young Thug create, participate in music videos. Yes, he does. And during those music videos, how long has he been doing that? I don't know when he started making music videos. And videos, when Mr. Williams, let's go back to 2010, 11, 12. Do you, are you familiar with any videos from that approximate time frame that involve Mr. Williams? Are you talking about music videos? Talking about any videos. I am aware of videos of Mr. Williams from that time period. And during that time period, tell the ladies and gentlemen, jury, how you know that if a video is released, let's say on the um, social media, how you know whether that video was intended to be used by Mr. Williams to promote Young Thug brand or otherwise. Tell the jurors how you would know if you weren't there. But that is a compound question. A same question. Taking any video from any time, but Jeffrey Williams in the video, how would you know to the jurors, tell the jurors, whether he was promoting his brand, Young Thug? Um, to the extent that I know what his intent is ever, um, I, I wouldn't know that necessarily. However, my interest would not be if he's promoting his music, but what connection that promotion, even if it is of music, has to do with criminal gang activity. That would be my only interest in any video of Mr. Williams. And that's like what you saw of the album cover that's on the screen. You just look at everything through your vision of gangs, right? No, that, that's not true at all. As I said, um, I certainly talk to other people in law enforcement, other people that I work with, but we routinely interview um, gang members themselves, members of these gangs that are associated with this case, uh, members of rival gangs, citizens who are not involved in gang activity at all. Um, all of those things help to inform the context, our understanding of our investigations. Did you ever interview the video videographers or managers for Jeffrey Williams performing known as Young Thug? Objection to answer. It's the same. I don't believe that was asked or answered. Yes, Mr. Steele. Who did you interview who was associated with the business end of Young Thug? Objection to answer. The same question. All right, let me ask you this. Remember Mr. Walter Murphy? We talked about him a lot on tweets. Yes, sir. And his handle is something like cartel with a K underscore DK. Remember that? Yes. And is it fair to say, if you know, if you don't know, just say I don't know, that Walter Murphy committed um, crimes, including violent crimes, uh, prior to the year and including the year 2015. Would you say that that's true? I would. All right. And uh, did you know, if you do know, that he was uh, heavily addicted to drugs during that time? If you know. Objection, Robert. That's the same question. I want you to tell, um, and, and this is the same person who was promoting through the tweets Jeffrey Williams' music, right? Remember that? I'm so sorry. Could you repeat your question? All right. This is the same person, the cartel underscore DK, DK uh, Walter Murphy, just for the jurors' memory, who is also promoting Jeffrey Williams going to the Stop the Violence concert, showing his uh, mixtapes. You remember all that? I'm sorry, that was a, all over the place. What was the question? This is the same person, DK, cartel underscore DK, Walter Murphy, who is also promoting Jeffrey Williams' music on the tweets that we discussed with the jurors. Uh, yes, I believe some of the tweets he was mentioning Mr. Williams' music. Tell, ladies and gentlemen, the jury, how many times Jeffrey Williams has met with Mr. Walter Murphy, known as DK or Cartel DK, um, after uh, or since 2015. Okay, speculation. I see. If you know, don't speculate at all. Do you know how many times Jeffrey Williams ever met with Mr. Walter Murphy after year 2015? 
Uh, I couldn't possibly know that. Well, you could know it from your investigation, right? Uh, I don't know that the information is available to find out every time that they met since 2015. Tell, ladies and gentlemen, the jury then how many times Mr. Williams spoke. Social media, telephone, Instagram chat, whatever, with Walter Murphy after the year 2015. I uh, wouldn't have. If you know, I'm not in. Okay, don't speculate. Tell the jurors how many times the two of them have spoken through any mechanism. I don't know. You analyzed and your teammates Jeffrey Williams' financial records. Is that true? I did not, I did not uh, investigate Mr. Williams' financial records. Okay. Did your coworker do that? I don't know who uh, investigated his financial records. Okay. Do you know that they've been investigated? Uh, I, I don't. You have no idea that Mr. Williams. Answer. A same question. Tell the jurors. Forget about looking at the finances. How much money has Jeffrey Williams funneled to YSL members on Cleveland Avenue? I don't know. I'd like to go back to... Um, the tweets to finish up what you did with the state, all the tweets. And I believe, because we told the jurors we'd go through them all, I believe that we were up to state's exhibit number 42W. and Sony Music, right? I don't know what label it's connected to. You, you're not aware of that? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. All right. Now, on the same day, May 12, 2018, I'd like to um, ask whether you looked at the other tweets from Mr. Williams' um, Twitter account. Again, no, I did not. Okay. I'm going to show you what I'll mark as Mr. Williams number 72. Uh, are you approaching with it first? Sure. <laughs> you know, can Mr. Kokomo come forward? He may. Number 72 today's date. Can you see it? Okay. 
And do you have any reason to believe that this is not the tweets on the same day that Mr. Williams also has on his Twitter account what's marked and on the display of State's Exhibit No. 42W? Your Honor, we would ask that Mr. Kokomo continue to show Investigator Duff that he did this so he can look at the full exhibit. All right. Well, do you need to look at the full exhibit? I did not look at the dates. I just reviewed what was on the screen generally. Can Mr. Kokomo approach again, Your Honor? Yes, he may. No, they're not all from the same date. Okay. Well, the ones on May 12, 2018, that's my question first. You're asking if the ones from May 12, 2018 are on the same date? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now, Mr. Kokomo, you got ahead of me, but Mr. Kokomo also showed you tweets purportedly from Mr. Williams' Twitter account from August 12, that's wrong, August 22, 2011, February 6, 2012, and December 9, 2015. Do you see that? Yeah, I think it's December 19, 2015, but yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm going to ask you about those as well. Okay? Great. I'm going to ask you about that in a moment, though. If you need to see them again, I'll show them to you. Now, were you aware that Mr. Williams' Twitter account, whoever was in charge of it, also used, similar to State's Exhibit 42, other tweets where he uses the word gang? I'm sorry, I don't think I understood the question. Okay. Were you aware on August 22, 2011, February 6, 2012, December 19, 2015, for example, that Mr. Williams' Twitter account also used gangs? Objection, Your Honor. First of all, that was testified to be under the proper foundation. I understand. What information, if any, did you do to determine whether putting the word gang at the end of a statement is something Mr. Williams has done otherwise on his Twitter? Again, I don't think I understand the question. What other research did you do to prepare for this testimony to tell the jurors whether Mr. Williams on other dates also, besides May 12, 2018, also used the word gang at the end of a word or statement? Well, I observed his Twitter account and likely seen these references to the word gang in other posts, but no additional investigation was necessary for this. Okay. Well, did you recognize what Mr. Kokomo showed you on August 12, 2011, August 22, 2011, February 6, 2012, December 19, 2015, tweets coming from Mr. Williams' Twitter account? I saw what he showed me, yes. Okay. Do you have any reason to believe that they were not on Mr. Williams' Twitter account? I don't, but again, this is something you brought in. Okay. Your Honor, I move for the admission of Mr. Williams number 72 under the rule of completeness. All right. Objections? Yes, Your Honor. Basis? The tweet as it relates to May 12, 2018, Your Honor, the state would not object to. However, the state would object to any tweet from 2011, 2012, 2015, as that does not put in the 2012, 2018 type of contact or the hearsay. All right. Counselors, come on up.
for the admission of Mr. Williams number 72 is ordered by the court. Any further objection from the state? No, Your Honor, we'd like to see it before it's published. All right. Mr. Cook, we need you to show that to the state, please, before we publish Mr. Williams 72. So the defendant, William 72, is admitted. It may be published as you see fit. Okay. Can you see what's on the screen now? Is Mr. Williams number 72 dated today? Yes, sir. All right. And we'll just start at the bottom one just for ease of the person viewing the screen. And that is the post that is in state's exhibit number 42W. Fair to say? Yes, it is. All right. And then above it, if Mr. Kokomo can scroll up, the next one is also Mr. Williams' purported Twitter account. Do you notice that? I do. And it is May 12, 2018. Fair to say? It is. And OTF, you see the gang? Yes. And if Mr. Kokomo can just raise the other way, if you don't mind. Okay. So now he has also May 12, 2018. You see how what you did with the state, YSL gang, capital G, Jonesboro South gang, capital G, you see all that? I'm not sure what you're referring to as far as what I did with the state. When you testified, when you introduced, when you helped introduce exhibit 42W. You mean when I read the tweet? Yes. Yeah. To the extent I understand your question, yes, I believe I did read the tweet. And it's the same on the one above it on May 12, 2018. Now in Mr. Williams number 72, you see it says OTF gang with a capital G, same type of format? I do. Okay. And you realize that OTF is a record label? Among other things, yes. Okay. Above it, see same date, Mr. Williams purported Twitter account, you see that? I do. May 12, 2018, right? Yes. And again, it has ASAP gang with a capital G, you see that? I do. And YAMS, Y-A-M-S, capital, or gang, capital G with two exclamation points, you see that? Yes. Okay. And do you know who ASAP Rocky is? I do. And that person is a rapper and a label, fair to say? He is. Okay. All right. Let's go to state's exhibit number 43W, if that's okay. Mr. Atkins, if you can help. A lot of these we have already gone through, I believe. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But just to be complete, because we said we'd go through, I said we'd go through all of the tweets that the state put in, starting at the bottom. This is May 20th of 2012. Fair to say you're tracking me? I am. Okay. Every real right blood wear beads, so don't start no, and I'm just going to say F you, blank K, spelled with two Ks, S-H-I blank my N, exclamation point. Fair to say? Yes. Okay. And we discussed that previously, right? I don't recall. All right. The next one is the quotations. It's from July 2, 2012, right? Yes. And the quotations you've already explained, the jurors know that that means that Mr. Williams or whomever is having a handle of his Twitter account is responding to that, correct? That statement. 
Right. Okay. So this is from someone else at R O N N. It says 5J colon at Young Thug World. Was am end quote and then Mr. Williams or whoever is handling his Twitter says what's up blood. That's that's what's on that one, right? It is. Okay. The one above it. I think we did this one already, but it's pretty much similar to the one below it, but it's a different date, June 7, 2012, right? It is. And it's the same quotation, somebody else in Mr. Williams or whomever is responding on his Twitter, same statement, what up blood, right? Yes. Then above it, we talked about this one, I believe, it's February 3rd, 2013, once again, and then two dots, and then I came from nothing for you to explain that that's a mixtape, right? Uh, yes. Times True Blood, you explain that's a mixtape, right? Right. Times Mixtape with, and then it says at BG1017 coming with a, instead of a C, a K, and you've explained who Gucci is, right? Yes. He's a musical artist, right? Correct. And a producer of music. Right. He is. And then above it, we've discussed this one, I believe, January 31, 2013, these hoes, and then five, the number, everybody blood to exclamation points. We discussed that before, right? Uh, again, I can't recall specifically. Okay, and then on the top, which should be the very top one, um, again, it's September 10th, 2000, well, not again, but it's September 10th, 2012, and whomever is handling Mr. Williams' Twitter account is, is responding to the same thing um, that we saw a little below, right? And then it's, what's up, bro? Correct, that's the, that's the tweet back. That's what it says. All right, that's everything for 43W states. Going to 44W. <clears throat> I think we discussed this one too. But just for completeness, starting at the very bottom, this is June 22, 2014 tweet. Fair to say? Yes, sir. And who's ever um, handling Mr. Williams' Twitter or Mr. Williams himself, Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, hashtag super jams this Friday we're going instead of a C there's a B Blazy at two exclamation points and then um, hashtag black hashtag stoner tour hashtag stoner nation fair to say yes and you've already explained that you know that super jams is a concert in Greensboro North Carolina and if you didn't say it are you familiar with that um, I don't recall if I said that or not and I um, I don't I don't know what super jams is I don't believe you don't know what Super Jams is, as you said here today? I'm sorry? Do you doubt that it is a um, concert, a music concert? Yo, sir, ask me. I'll the question. Did you ever look into what Super Jams is when you were identifying this tweet to the state? Uh, no. Okay. And the next one, after the hashtag black, which we'll get to, because they're all black on this page, right, of uh, States 44W? Yeah, it looks like the rest of them are, yes. And then Stoner Tour, you know that, and I believe uh, you're familiar that that's a uh, song that Mr. Williams, and it was very popular, right, Stoner? <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with the song, yes. And then the next one, Stoner Nation, same song, right? Uh, yeah, Stoner is, yeah, the song. All right, then just going up, we've discussed this before, I follow my dog, SMM underscore all and then five instead of the s maybe to start hashtag black and then above it i'm not trying to go too fast but it's just black above it black above it black and i know i didn't read it verbatim but that's basically what it says correct i'm sorry did you jump to the one from july 16 2012 is that what you're saying yeah above it july 11th 2012 above it september 4th 2012 uh, they, they basically say black I got you, sorry, you were going through my tweet and then you started going all the way up the page. <clears throat> yeah, just, it says, by the water pump. And you've explained to jurors that black is um, blood love all the time. I have. The next one is state's exhibit number 45. We discuss this, so we'll go fast if that's okay. On the bottom is September 14, 2011. I like the YouTube video, gives the um, jump, and then Young Thug Rock Crew hyphen curtains featuring the real crew. You already said curtains is a song, right? 
Uh, yes. The next one above it, September 30, 2011. I favorited a YouTube video, gives the site, and then Young Thug, Rock Crew, Hyphen Education. You already said education's a song. You know that to be true, right? Yes. Above it is um, something we discussed. Also, that's the Tumblr. It's uh, introducing the Tumblr, right? Correct. And it's a shout out to, if you see in the top on December 29, 2011, the line underneath it. Photo on the avenue with the rock crew with a K, three exclamation points, shout out to, and then it's um, at John's, at John World Visions, and you already discussed who that person is, right? The videographer, remember that? For photographer, whatever. Yes. All right. And then above it, we talked about, I believe, September 3rd, 2011. Again, it's, I like the YouTube video, and it gives it the site, and then Young Thug Rock Crew, No Thinkings, No Thinkings, a song we discussed, right? I believe we did, yes. And then above it is, uh, we pulling curtains on them, Rock Crew, Know That I'm Worthy, exclamation point, and then it goes to a YouTube, gives a site, that's September 6th, 2011, and you already said curtains is a song, right? Yes. All right. If we go to um, States Exhibit Number Forty Five A, Forty Five W A, we've already discussed that, and that's the shout out, right? And that's included in the Tumblr. Yes, sir. And you didn't review the other Tumblrs, you said? Not yet, no. Okay. Have you reviewed it now? No, sir. I unfortunately have not had time. Um, other court obligations have prevented me from doing that yet. All right. Let's look at States Exhibit Number Forty Six W. That's an evidence, and we have spoken about some of these. But if you can just take a minute. Um, and look at them, and it's fair to say that this is a lot of replacing C with B, something like that. Is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, um, it is. Okay. And I, and I know it's not always, like in the second to bottom one, November 26, 2011, um, it's responding, the word Cleveland is with a C. Yes, there are some examples of using the uh, red B emoji right as well. Okay. And we've already talked about, I believe, that it's common, you know, in hip-hop music and other artists, to change the C to a B. You're familiar with that? Um, it is common among some in hip-hop music. And we named some during the test. Right? I believe you did. Okay. All right. The next one is stage 47W. <clears throat> Again, we discuss these because a lot of these repeated. Do you realize that in the states exhibits? A lot of what are repeated? The, the tweets. They're, they're in different exhibits. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. All right. Um, and this is states exhibit 47W. Um, we discussed that before. Mr. Williams or whomever is handling his tweet, Twitter account at that point. Um, December 15, 2011, responding to. Um, the tweet at Mon MDC calling it Thug World, Young Thug World. I seen an N with a crit with a K flag today talking about he with the rock and the end quote. And then the Twitter back from Mr. Williams or whomever it's handling is boy stop, comma, 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 never that, right? Right. I think we discussed it above it too. October 16, 2011, um, it's replying to Pee Wee Longway, you see that? Yes, sir. And it's, it's saying at Pee Wee Longway, at Scooter 1426, mm -hmm. hashtag 1426, rock with a C, MPA, together, it's over, let's work, right? Yes. Okay. And you realize that those people are involved in the music industry as well? Among other things, yes. All right. Um, January 4th, 2012 is above it. You see that? Yes. Um, and this one, I don't think we uh, ever discussed. If I'm wrong, just tell me. But it's repeating 
or replying to the quotations at major x kiss colon at young thug world i don't know the rock crew sign look exclamation point three times so no exclamation point three times and then end quote and then the reply by mr williams or whomever is handling his twitter well f you and then two k's in a row that's simon i'll shoot that little shi down to exclamation points fair to say yes all right the next one is july 18 2000 11, you uh, already discussed, I believe that you know Primal is an establishment uh, to perform music. Do you realize that? Yes, sir. And I think we discussed it. If I'm wrong, tell me. But anyway, it's, it's Young Thug World coming through Primal tonight. So you know the, so you know that Rock Crew will be in the, and then uh, blank, I-T-C-H, Stupid Strong, right? Right. All right. Above it is in November 22, 2011. And it's at Young Scooter and at Young Thug World about to make history today. And then it gives hashtags. You see that? I do. And you know that Young Scooter and Mr. Williams did a song together, or songs together, right? Yes. All right. The next one. I think we discussed it, December 15, 2011, that's hashtag MDC, hashtag ARC, hashtag rock, hashtag Christmas, or it's that Xmas night, we gonna be a hashtag TTU, and you know TTU is too turned up, right? Yes. And he's having fun? Objection uh, speculation. If you know, do you know what TTU stands for? Um, as, you, as you said, it stands for too turned up. And do you know what it means? <clears throat> uh, I mean, it, it's... Not a specific thing, but it means you're going to party your, uh, I guess the, 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 the current term is lit. Okay. Um, and then that's on Christmas, right? Christmas night, that's what it's advertising? It appears that's what it's saying. Okay. I should say advertising. Yes. All right. The next one, I think we uh, um, discussed earlier. This is August 31, 2011. I love my rock family. And then at Rock Crew daddy at Young Zoo One at Maybach underscore Rock Crew, and then hashtag Follow Now, and we went to the other. You can go to the other Twitter, right? Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay, and then the final one is uh, January 9, 2017. Rock means to me, and then quote unquote rich off crack with a lot of emojis, four emojis. You should relax, something like that, right? It does. All right, and that's everything for Space 47. Fair to say? Yes. Next one is stage 48W, if you don't mind. I have it. A sound. <clears throat> and while you look at it, while it's coming on screen, most of these are repeats, fair to say? Uh, yeah, they appear to be. Okay. <clears throat> So if we go to the very bottom, and just go up. You see that August 10, 2012? I do. And um, it's replying to the quotes, SMM for life, fair to say? Yes. All right. And you said SMM, sex, money, murder, fair to say? Yes. All right. The one above it is January 31, 2013. You see that? I do. And that has... Um, um, people, a YouTube, um, a YouTube insignia, and then other people are being identified, um, and then it says at SMM underscore player pound, or excuse me, has to say against me, and then the YouTube on repeat. You see that? I do. And you already told the jurors against me is the song, right? Right. Above it. Again, is the same type of thing. It's inside the quotes. And uh, Mr. Williams or whomever is doing his Twitter said, us, what up? Responding to uh, what's popping, five, and, and fair to say? Yes. All right. The one above it is similar, Mr. Williams or whomever. It's February 28th. 
2012, responding to the, what's inside the quotations. Again, SMM, exclamation point, what's popping? Exclamation point, right? Yes. And then August 27, 2012, And that's saying rock with a five, crew with a K, SMM, they ride in for Thugger, three exclamation points, hashtag blacked, right? Yes, sir. You already defined that. And then above it, we've already discussed it, correct? We have. And the, the one above it, we've already discussed it, that's in a song, right? Uh, yeah, as, as you said, um, you believe it's a song there. Okay. Do you have any reason to believe it's not? Um, I don't. Okay. And then above it, again, um, that is, uh, that is music, right? But I follow, it's a very top one, follow my dog, SMM underscore, ball, and then five star, uh, hashtag black. I don't believe that's music. You don't know that to be music? I, what part of that are you asking if it's music? If you go to SMM underscore five star, um, hashtag black on that day, you don't get music? Uh, I, I, you know, I don't, I didn't go to, to his account on that day, but I, I can't remember if you showed me something from that day or not. That's fine. All right, the next one, I think we discussed it all, but just to complete this, is 49W. And if you could just start at the bottom. And then that, again, is, we've discussed that, right? I believe so, yes. I mean, we just discussed it even today. We discussed it last week, too. Sure. February 2, 2013. That's music, right? Yes, sir. The one above it is uh, Mr. Walter Murphy, who we discussed, right? We did. And that, again, uh, they're going to, Mr. Williams is going to the uh, Stop the Violence uh, concert in Chattanooga, Tennessee that day, right? We discussed that, yes. Okay, the next one above it is um, in quotation marks, but not from someone else. But it's June 30, 2012, an ounce of blood is worth more than a pound of friendship, quote unquote. You know that to be a well known statement, right? That's a, that's a well known saying. Is that true? Objection, count it, How old is objection? Um, I've heard similar things to this. I don't know if I've heard this exact quote before. Okay. Do you know that? Do you know that a person could get on Amazon and get that exact quote as an inspirational saying? I sustain that objection. <laughs> okay. Are you aware that that? Could... Do you know where this quote comes from? I, I don't. All right. All right. Um, the next one above it is January 31, 2013. Again, it's applying. Uh, replying to um, it's us, Shardy, Cohen, at Young Thug World, how much for a, f f it says FT blood, but that's a feature, right? You know, you know what that means? I would interpret it that way, yes. And a feature is Mr. Williams performing, right? Correct. And the response is uh, go to his management at um, Archibald, right? Yes. And then above it is... Um, I read it as August 4th, 2012. Can you make that out? I do. I can see it. All right. And then again, it's applying, replying to the quotation at JAG underscore MD5. Pay for PU blank blank Y. No, I get too many freebies with emojis. And then uh, word to blood, hashtag black. Fair to say? Yes. All right. And the top one I can't read. It's blurted out on state's exhibit number 49 for whatever reason. Is that yours too? Yes, sir. I can't either. All right. And then the last one is state's exhibit number 50. And I believe we've done all of these. Take a look at it. wrong, just tell me which ones we did not do. Uh, I, I believe that we did, um, to the extent that I can recall. Okay. Okay. 
Let's go back to who are not in a gang. You're aware through your investigation that people in the Cleveland Avenue, that area, helped Mr. Williams to popularize his music. you remember testifying to that? Um, I don't remember the specific question and answer from that part of the testimony. Well, I think I asked you more about... Um, it was that question, but it also revolved around um, Quentin Porter, known as Booth. Okay. He helped Jeffrey Williams get into establishments, <clears throat> promote his music. And what was the question about him? That him and others helped promote Jeffrey Williams, the musical entertainer. I do believe that Mr. Porter did, um, to the extent that others is pretty broad. I, um, I don't want to specify that. Well, even in these tweets that we discussed, people were promoting the music of Mr. L or the performer known as Young Thug. Fair to say? Yeah, certainly people were promoting him. And in videos, you're aware that Mr. Williams wrote pictures, wrote songs that he would talk about, um, use his hands to show what you perceive to be a um, gang sign where... Uh, jewelry, tattoos, all of that, you realize, promoted the brand Young Thug. Judging my speculations for what the purpose of my post were. I see you, Okay, don't tell me the purpose, because you can't read anyone else's mind. You've said it. But do you realize that the Young Thug brand Used and capitalized. Objection, Your Honor. Testify. It's in the back by that. A standing objection. Do you know whether young thug Jeffrey Williams used the environment to promote music? I'm not even sure. Maybe what environment? A standing objection. The environment <laughs> that he grew up in. So the question is, am I aware that he used his environment where he grew up to promote his music? He realized that part of being an artist like Jeffrey Williams in gangster rap is to... Assume that they do, you realize? Is the same, same question, question. Mr. Steele. <clears throat> Objection, Your Honor. Testify. It's in the back by the back. Objection, Your Honor. Testify. It's in the back by the back. Your Honor. Testify. Do you know? Uh, it's not speculation if he knows. No, it's a, a form of the question I'm just saying. You can rephrase it if you like. Do you know whether Young Thug performs gangster rap? Y yes, he does. And what does gangster rap entail in a music form if you know? I would have no idea how to answer that question as to what does it entail. Okay. Now, if there are videos made to promote a song, and during that song there are references that you believe reference gang, like I'm making with my hand, like a beat. You realize that's commonplace in gangster rap. Objection, I think he realized Do you know whether it is commonplace for certain artists to adopt gang logos, terms? Uh, <laughs> it is uh, it is used by certain artists um, to replace certain terms. Yes. Okay. And on, let's say, a video, just any video, 
Williams. If Jeffrey Williams is aware that he's being video. Objection. Do you? Speculation to what was, if he, if Mr. Williams aware of Same objection. If there's a video, if it's obvious that somebody's videoing other people, do you know whether Jeffrey Williams is performing in that video to enhance the young thug image? Objection. It's speculation as to why Mr. Williams is doing anything. I see objection. Do you know that there are videos of countless performers or athletes where they are promoting their trade? Objection. Same Showing that they're part of a gang. There's nothing wrong with that in a video, is there? I'm not sure I understood the question. There's nothing wrong with Jeffrey Williams appearing in a video to promote Young Thug's brand by acting like a gangster, is uh, there? Jeffrey, you're on every speculation. I, he was I stand your Jesus. <laughs> when you spoke with the gang members of the, I think you said, rival gang who took offense to the Super Slimy mixtape cover? Is that your test? Didn't you testify something like that? Objection, that's characterization. <clears throat> I'm asking you, did you testify to that? I'm all word objection. You've got to rephrase the question now. Did you testify to that? I did not testify to that. That was not my testimony. There's nothing wrong with the album cover okay. that you know of that is illegal. Is there? I will testify in proper question. I asked that's an answer, so I'll stand on all bases. Is there any? Let's move on, Mr. Steele. Okay. May I have one more moment then? May I have one moment? Yes. Sir, thank you, Your Honor. All right, yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take about ten minutes, and then we'll see where the uh, see where the lunchtime hour leads us at that point. Okay. All right. So we'll be in recess uh, ten minutes. All right. All rise.